BMW's R1100S. After the dealer introduction to this model, we're back at the dealership for a period of time before off to New Jersey to go to BMW school, where under their fine tutelage, us lowly technicians are going to learn about this new model before it arrives and actually put our hands on it and take things apart and such. The first discussion is about uncrating the bike. And the nice thing with the R1100S was the bike was low, so there wasn't much to put together. The front wheel came assembled. This was, I believe, the first BMW to be shipped as such, where we didn't have to hoist the bike up on the center stand out of the crate and then put the front wheel on the bike before rolling it away. These were mobile right out of the crate. Handlebar adjustment and uh, windshield and such. Of course, you still have to put the battery in the machine, and that's where they get into how to install the battery and being an aluminum tank this is uh this is all new stuff and a and a special aluminum frame and uh there's a tiny battery and there's a larger optional battery cuz there's also a tiny alternator and a little bit bigger alternator so there's uh there's some changes to this model and then Back to the dealer, our demo arrives. So I get to uncrate that machine and put it together and road test it. And there's lots of interest in this bike. And a couple, three more come in. But there's a technical hold on all of these. It seems that at the introduction to the motorcycle press that a few a few throttle jockeys uh, that like to blip the throttle while sitting around parked when you do this on the s it was causing a backfire and the backfire was severe enough to blow the throttle body out of the grommet in the cylinder head, force the tube behind the throttle body, the air tube, back into the air box, and this action would result in the severing of the fuel line and the immediate 50 psi resultant spray of fuel everywhere. This happened to three bikes, and we were told all three caught on fire. The cure for this was the insertion of a couple self-tapping sheet metal screws through the airbox and into the tube so that the tube could not be blown backwards, therefore holding the throttle body into the grommet on the head regardless of said backfire. That's how BMW solved that problem. So then, you think we could sell these machines? Finally, finally, could they finally go out the door and people could start riding them? I'm riding the demo as much as I can. We couldn't sell them yet either. There was another hold from BMW. It seems nobody thought it might be a smart idea to produce an owner's manual in English ahead of the vehicle's release in the United States. See, in the United States, you cannot sell a new vehicle if it does not come equipped with an owner's manual. You can release the manual before the car, but you can't release the car before the manual, and the same applies to motorcycles. So there was no way these could be sold until the manuals were out. And that took a couple, three more weeks. And that's how things went back then. Then we can get into the servicing end of these things if people are still interested in this little bit about the R1100S. Uh, let me know down in the comments. And if there's enough interest and support, I'll, uh, I'll put together the next episode. Thank you all.
Have a good day. See me again soon. Take care.